Hi all you beautiful people, welcome back to the Sky Channel. Um, it's been three weeks since my oral surgery and uh, having those eight teeth removed. And I have to say, after about two weeks, I could finally eat pretty normal. Uh, my teeth were still a little sensitive and it still hurts a little bit to eat chips. But uh, other than that, I could eat just about anything. And believe me, I have been indulging. Um, I do get my top braces on tomorrow. Uh, he did move up the uh, appointment for my top braces because everything looked like it had healed good. The bottom still needs to heal a little bit more, especially right there or all that uh, metal is where they had to expose that tooth in my jaw. Um, it still needs a little bit of healing. It's still pretty sensitive. So that is scheduled for May 10th, but I am getting my top braces on tomorrow, and so I'll be happy to update y'all on that. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video in before, because this is the last time that you'll see me without braces. I'm so excited. I am getting the clear ceramic braces on the top, so that's what I'm getting tomorrow. And then on the bottom, I'm just getting the metal braces, because when I smile, you don't see the bottom anyway. So I'm so ready to get them vampire teeth gone. Um, I did write down a couple things about uh, the oral surgery that I thought other people would like to know. Uh, first things first, because I'm very blunt, uh, I don't take pain medicine, so this is one thing I didn't really expect or prepare for, and no one had talked about it. But um, due to the infection and everything, I took pain medicine um, for about a week. And let me tell you what, if you're going to take pain medicine extensively, take stool softener also. You can thank me for that later. Moving on. The next thing, I, I do recommend getting a soft bristle toothbrush um, to brush your teeth after having oral surgery or even when you have your braces. You're going to want a soft bristle toothbrush that you replace often. Um, I do that normally, but I normally have a firm toothbrush. I like my teeth being clean, um, but I did have to downgrade to a soft bristled and it just makes it so much better. The other thing I made sure that I got was a blender. It has been my best friend. Um, I did get a Ninja Blender. I spent about $80, $80 on it, I think, $80, $90. But it is worth it. Um, I, especially that first week when I couldn't eat anything. And I know after tomorrow when I'm, it's going to be hard eating um, regular foods and stuff. Um, protein shakes have also been my best friend. I, I bought um, a pack at Walmart of like uh, 12 of them, I think, for like 14 bucks. The Boost and the um, Muscle Milk and stuff like that. But I'm Walmart, Walgreens, whatever. And uh, that is what I lived off of. And I'm sure I'll live off of it this next week also. Um, one thing I wasn't expecting about when I got the wisdom teeth pulled out. Because I, they were impacted so they never had come in. So I'd never I'd miss them at all. Well there, there's like these little holes in the back of my jaw. Like literally like deep sockets where my wisdom teeth were. Because I guess it, it'll stay that way for a while. But the dentist or the oral surgeon gave me this little... Um, syringe thing was a little hook basically fill it up with water and you have to squirt it back there behind your last tooth into those holes and you will be surprised by how much food comes out of there like whole chickens you know i think i had a, a, a deer walk out of there i'm serious squirt that in there and you spit dear god i uh, just, uh, just annoys me how much food came out of my damn mouth anyway um the other thing that um they will tell you is wash your mouth out with warm salt water about one teaspoon of salt to um, an eight ounce glass of warm water and just um, not so much gargle it because you don't want to get rid of those blood clots and get dry sockets um, so just really warm water warm salt water swish it around in your mouth and um, just gives it a chance to kind of cleanse everything and that's also what I use with the syringe for the first little while uh, to clean that out um, other than ice packs, um, something that I don't know we down in the south use is rice socks. And I don't know, I've actually never heard of that many people using them, but I, I've, I've used them most of my life. You basically take like a tube sock and you pour rice in it, like actual white, white rice grains, and then tie it off at the top. And you only feel about halfway, so you can tie it off the top. Put it in the microwave for about a minute, 30 seconds. To, my my microwave's cheap, so I put it in there for a minute. But if you have a high power microwave, 30 seconds should be fine. And it'll warm up the rice and also make it a little moist. And you put that on the swelling or where it's sore um, after your wisdom teeth and the extractions and stuff, it feels, it feels great. I'll use that to go to sleep on my couch because you have to sleep sitting up. 
that's the other thing uh, you don't want to lay down because it'll cause more bleeding so I sat on or slept on the couch like the first two days or two nights two or three nights um, but I think that's about it you're welcome to ask any questions I'll be happy to answer them uh, like and subscribe all that good crap uh, I will be making another video tomorrow uh, after I actually get my braces on but I'm so excited and I'm so happy I'll be getting rid of these vampire teeth soon so uh, again any questions let me know in the comments uh, I do respond back pretty quickly I do work a lot but anyway uh, that's it you guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow sky gone